in tile for a project, you'll know there are thousands of styles, colors, and designs to choose from. It can be so confusing. It can be very overwhelming. So Aaron is back now with some guidelines and tips about what to use where. Because you walk into a tile shop mm -hmm. and it's you're just blown away by the options. That's so exciting though. Uh, see, you see oh, it from I a designer's perspective. You walk in and you're like a kid in a candy shop and we walk in and want to cry a little bit. <laughs> so what do you, what, where can you put where? Like, do you put it on the wall? Do you mm -hmm. put it on the floor? What is it dependent on? Well, we're going to get you to vote on that. Some, yes. of them are, some of them are specific reasons about materiality and how it's used. Yes. And some of it's just style. So we'll have some fun along the way. Okay. Okay, well that's so, good. So first of all, yes. this is actually a tile. That is huge. This is this is looks like a slab of yes. marble. This is laminate made in Italy. Okay. This is one meter by three meters. Is it? It's two hundred pounds. Thin. It's it is quite thin. It's five millimeters thin. Hmm. So I'm going to get you to vote now as yeah. to whether this goes on the wall or it goes on the floor. So the audience, you guys all have cards. Everybody votes. Everybody wall votes. Or Everybody floor. Votes. You can vote now. All right. There I'm, we go. Wait, I'm saying wall. The votes are in. Mine. You are right. So this is this is for the wall. Actually, just use. Uh, Laminate tiles in a in a, a bathroom, stunning. Yes. Three of them across so it's wall. a wall. This is wall. Wall is but, right, everybody. But so. congratulations, you got it right. Smart pants. <laughs> but they actually make a thicker version, yes. which is uh, used as countertops. This, this is a ceramic tile, yeah. is, which is even larger than this, okay. which you can use as countertops. You can cut and chamfer the edges and make a fantastic contemporary countertop. But this can also go, because it's thick enough, on the floor, too. Really? So you can have stunning marble slabs that are I need to marble. feel this. Can I walk on this with stilettos? You could walk on that with stilettos. Yeah? I wouldn't, this would not go into a bathroom, though, no. because it's a little on the slippery side. That is beautiful. But it is absolutely stunning, made in Italy. And this is from Stone Tile. So right. They have a fantastic selection, and there are there are metallic finishes and stone finishes. Lovely. And it's all digitally printed directly onto the surface. It's absolutely gorgeous. And, and when durable. you go to when you go to Italy, you see people walking on this. If that was my yes. house, I'd say, take off your shoes. <laughs> exactly. Take them off. Take off your shoes and your socks. Take off everything. All right. The next one is one. very very cool. <laughs> And lift this one up. So this okay. one, it looks digitally, it's a digital print made to look like a large kind of chip chipboard, yeah. but with painted stripes across it. It has a kind of fantastic matte finish. So what would you guys suggest for this one? Wall or floor? I'm going to go with floor for this one. And most floor. of you agree with me. I know. Floor. You know, I'm going to disagree. What because do you say? this actually can go on the wall or it can go on the floor. But it's so, it's But so I, you know, thick. this one's a design one. It doesn't matter how thick it is. Okay. This, I would put this on the floor. The hexagon I on the floor, too. and I would put w it with this one on the wall. Do you imagine a big wall with horror, with like diagonal stripes across it? Yeah. Like how fantastic that would look in a bathroom. So you don't. It doesn't matter to you that that is a big, heavy no. tile. If you have a good tiler and good yeah. tile adhesive, yes. it's going to be fine. Okay. All right. So that is we were wrong. Sorry. The All people, right. the people that said wall were absolutely right. And these and tiles, were a few are, of these you. ones are from Metro Source, and they're absolutely stunning. So here we go. Wall or floor? Beautiful kind of digital. Digital prints reminds me of. Uh, wall of uh, or floor. What are you saying? Well, you guys are right. I said floor. Wow! It's even so, so you wouldn't put this on the floor because it's too shiny yes. and it's too large. It doesn't allow you to grip. You can leave it right down there, and we're going to grab okay. a shot of it where it is. All right. But take a and look this, at this one. I would put this one on the on the floor yes. with this on the wall. Enough surface okay. grip on there for you to be, feel comfortable and not yes. slip in a bathroom, yeah. but not too much that it grips too much and gets too di difficult to clean. I wish you could feel this because the texture of it is incredible, it's and so this would actually inform your vote. I think this is definitely yes. something you would want on the floor. Um, I was wrong about this guy. All right. Okay, so are this we going to vote on this one? We are going to vote on this one. So this so one, what are you guys going to say? Explain to us what it is. This one is a terrazzo of what looks uh, actually not a terrazzo, rather it's a mosaic of yeah. uh, stone in a wood grain stone and also a white marble. Okay. This is from Saltillo, and it's yes. a fantastic kind of Mediterranean look. So wall or floor for this one? Well, first I want to give them a hint before you vote. It feels really good underfoot, I would say. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to go with this. You guys are all right, floor, because this one, yes, fantastic. With this one, I would put a really lovely handmade uh, subway tile, either in a soft blush pink oh, or in kind of a slight off-white 
quite stunning with the whites and kind of the brown tones in here. Yes. And again, perfect. This the the mosaic one is perfect for a bathroom. Less slippability. Absolutely. That's a really nice and unexpected pairing. I think pretty, that's gorgeous. Pretty, very pretty. Next one is on the floor in front, where you're gonna guys, yes. you're gonna see a fantastic Art Deco tile okay. with uh, brass detail printed onto the surface. That. What do you guys think? Wall or floor? I'm gonna go for wall just because I haven't said wall in a long time. All right. Wall Most is of you right. are saying wall. Wall's right. Wall is right. Very good, Wallers. But if you wanted to, you actually could put this on the floor. Yes. In a place without too much traffic, but the the brass is not meant. The brass is printed on. It's not meant for continuous surface traffic like that. It needs to be a very low traffic area. Absolutely. So right? I would put that on the wall, and I would either either do a penny round in brass. How oh, stunning pretty. would that be in a bathroom? Or a, a penny round in the honed marble. Quite fantastic too. Yeah. So these are what he's suggesting you could pair it with, and I think that they're both gorgeous mm -hmm. choices. It's beautiful. All right. The next one. You can one, leave it right down there. We're going to we'll grab a shot of it. We'll just show the different patterns. There are three different patterns that's come in. Yeah. So this one, wool or floor for this one? So these three you're looking at right here, do you think, I'm going to say floor with some hesitation. And you're switching, okay, well. That's 50 half 50 half. again. It is half enough, but He's you're right. right. You're both right. Okay. I would, from a design perspective yes. and from usability, these can go on the floor because they have enough grip. Yeah. So the pattern is fantastic too, and terrazzo is so on trend. So that it's a lovely look with a big terrazzo slab that matches it too. This would and be this what you is would pair from Stone Tile again. Yes, quite fantastic. Very nice. Okay, I'd say you guys know a lot. You must watch City Line.